welcome to this series of learning in preparation for the transfer test which is happening in January. This is really a series of questions and support to try and help people who have perhaps missed some time of school um, but also for those parents who can't or don't know how to help their kids um, in the approach or in the hints and tips for the maths and English which is completely understandable and certainly not to be judged. Um, so this is really just an investment of five minutes every day, taking a question, looking at it, understanding the gotchas, understanding what the detail is and how do you approach a question, which in turn is going to rise their knowledge, increase their knowledge and also increase their confidence. Um, so that ultimately, hopefully improve their score um, on the big day. So I'll be looking down um, in order to uh, capture and annotate the question and I'll, I'll be sharing that with you obviously. So what we have, um, this first question, we've got 10 numbers of electronic gadgets in the house of 10 primary school kids. So we've got 10 numbers and we've got the average, we're, we're asked for the average. So we'll have, so, oh, okay, so firstly we've got the average is the total over the number. We should know that, the child should know that. If they don't know that, that's the learning point, you know, understanding that equation um, so that then when the time comes that they're asked to work out the average, they can simply do that. Now, there would be a natural tendency here to, for the child to write, you know, 5 plus 2 plus 8 plus 3 plus 8 plus 3 plus 5 plus uh, uh, continue, you know, and, and that really is not going to add a lot of value, you know, and, and actually with them rewriting it like that could cause confusion and actually it's not going to add much time or, or accuracy to the whole thing. So I don't recommend they do that. What I recommend they do is look at the, each of the digits and try to pair them up so that they become factors of 10 and then they can be easily added together. So in this case we've got 2 plus 8 which is 10, uh, 5 plus 5 which is another 10, so it gives us 20, 7, 3, 30, 7, 3, 40, and the 2 and the 8, so it's 50. So a nice round number for the, the total, so that equals total. And then we've got the number, well we're told, and we can also add, that the number is 10, so that's straightforward. So in this case then we just have the average is 50 over 10, which is 5. And that's all there is to it. So very straightforward. But I think just having that extra hint and tip on how to approach the question is the right thing to do. Some kids would score the numbers out. But I think by doing that, you lend a challenge when it comes to checking your answer at the end. So I wouldn't recommend that. The second part of this question is asking for the range. And again, that's a relatively straightforward thing. Well, it's a very straightforward thing if you know what range is. And in this particular case, the learning point is range is the highest minus the lowest. So in this case, the range is simply the highest number that we have there is the 8 and the lowest is the 2. So the range is 6. That's one mark, one really easy mark um, for, uh, for an answer. As long as you know what range is, it's, it's good. So I hope that helped. I'm not going to labour today. Um, I hope that's given you something as a learning point and giving you something to take away. Like and subscribe on the video so that when I upload another one you're informed. Um, I'll share them so much on social media but to, to an extent. So I really just want to you know, make sure people um, are getting notified that there's new videos. Okay, thank you and I hope that helped. Thank you.